Welcome back to Let's Play a Boy and His Blob. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we took out the first two levels, well, the first few challenge levels of World 4. This time, we're keeping it rolling. Off to the horrible Doom Clock! Berry Balloon. A mint Double or Cotton Candy Copy, depending on which you prefer. Pear Parachute, and the Coconut Coconut. You're a bit extra sometimes, Blobbert. Well, I hate this. Wait, fuck! Oh! Oh. Can I...? No, you cannot hug Blobbert like this. Or, or, or turn around, curiously, because he has to mimic you. Run that, sure. Okay, that doesn't really make any sense, but I'll go for it. That's a weird one. I have no way of lifting one of those right now. What if I didn't push it off? What would that? Oh, I could put it, get up there myself. Off the cliff. That would be weird. Hey, it didn't crack. Huh. Oh, and he won't be able to run off. Yeah, this feels safe. Oh, wait, I can't kill them. Fuck. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. No. This way. Uh. Good blob. Huh. Blob. I wonder. Oh! Okay, I need him up there above me to push the, ro the heavy rock onto the uh, mines so they explode. I need to not be, uh, be directly underneath him when he does that, so that I am not blown up by the mines myself. Oh god. Just checking there's no fucking treasure in this level to make things even more complicated. Oh boy. No, no, it's the opposite of what I wanted. Oh, that's a weird one. Come 
cock and ball torture. It pushed that mine slightly closer to me. Oh, yeah, that's what that accomplished. Like, wait, why did I do that in the first place? This bit over here. I lost my train of thought, so I just hugged him instead. Um, yes, that's right, he needs to go down there. Alright, Blobbrick, you see I'm throwing it down there, and you need to jump down this hole, right? Fuck, there were a couple- there were more than one game on the Nintendo DS that did this. Like, I remember one where they- I don't even remember what it was called. It was Chrono something. I remember that because the only reason I took note of it at first was that I thought it was a sequel to Chrono Trigger. And the idea was that you were playing two different heroes in the same place in two different time periods. So your controls moved both of them, and you had to keep track of both screens to make sure you weren't walking either of them into a death trap, or, you know, getting hit by an enemy. And I didn't even come close to uh, purchasing that game, because it's like, you know what? No, I have trouble enough trouble doing that with one character on one screen. Fuck. It wasn't quite as clean as the last time, but it'll do. Ow, ow. Double pant dance, yeah! Although Blobbert isn't so much turning around as he is rotating his feet and face. <laughs> No, it just looks like he's turning around. But, you know, I realized he could do that, being amorphous and all. I like that word. You don't really see amorphous a lot. <laughs> Distinctly remember when I first heard that word. Well, the, when, I, when I first heard that word, the first thing I thought of was that the Morpha boss from Ocarina of Time wasn't as clever as I thought it was. What am I doing? No, that's right. Oh. This way. I always like the enthusiasm when he catches it on the way up and then has to go back down and transform. Although it is frustrating because sometimes when he does that, it does the full transformation animation and decides, well, this hole isn't sitting on thin ground, so we're gonna break it. Oh dear. I'm still baffled by that one time when Billy went hurtling to his death in a place where he absolutely shouldn't have been able to do that. I mean, the D-pad doesn't even move Billy. I wasn't touching the stick that moves Billy at that point. Oh dear. Hey, sorry about that. This way. So what, here's a free jelly bean that has nothing to do with puzzles. You can just do that and chill with a berry flavor for a moment. Okay, it doesn't taste very, take very long to, uh, eat a jelly bean, but you know! Oh wait, uh, this side. Here, calm down. The fuck? Oh, I must have been standing on top of this bump before. Good boy. The treat is yours!
And it lands on the Buton. This way. I don't even know what that one does, to be perfectly frank. I didn't see, like, a thing open up. But I will take their word for it that it is important. Rude. I guess it's just death, since this is a bonus level. Oh! Oh, that's very clever. Fuck. Well, I know how to deal with you. You're a very specific threat. Oh! Uh, wait. That doesn't help anything. I actually can't get out of here. Wait a minute. Okay, yes, that does go up. I would have to be standing directly on top of it, and this uh, seam here with the two cinder block looking blocks with a seven on them. Uh. Okay, I think I've got an idea. I'll push it down, turn, uh, I'll stand just to the right of this thing, turn into a, uh, turn him into me, and have him jump up and down on the block so that it breaks while I'm standing in the middle. Yeah. I don't have any limes to put in there, sadly. And, uh, yeah, the key, the lime key isn't in this one. Hmm. I'll just reset. Oh, right, he doesn't need that. Ah! It's the unhappiest dance I've seen in a very long time. Oh, do I need the fucking parachute here? Fuck, there's nothing else I can do, but... Where am I even meant to go? Holding for explosions. Maybe it's this. This way. Oh, it's right there. I need to hit that little dude. Here. It's the only means I can think of. Giving myself a place to land. Does that automatically? I don't know why I didn't think that through. Here's a jelly bean. Yoink! Ah, I missed him. It's like loading a cannon, except with the same shell. Okay, parachute. No! Couldn't even fucking see the mines. The camera shot to the bottom of the world. Ah! Oh, I can do this. I should have tried harder to blow up those mines. I think. I got to the upper level. I don't know how I'd do that. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Oh. 
No, no, that's the opposite of what I wanted, yes. Um... Come on. Oh, that would have been very stupid if I had done that from there. You know, because he would get off the button and I would die. Okay, that doesn't normally happen, but I'll allow it. Do a good job. Right, yes. Um, so, how are the kids? I'm doing some power wash simulator today. Send out some Warhammer stuff. And, I mean, I did mention that, but I haven't even gotten to the, the Final Fantasy VII level yet. Oh, I hate that! I did, in fact, fall off the cliff. Just giving them a minute in case they decided to come back right in the middle of me throwing myself through there. Okay. No! draft of all of the forms. Maintain volume in all transformations. One concave and one convex curve. And screenshot. Screenshot. Village would have been interesting. I wonder if that's a size comparison. Never has hard edges. Huh. That's true. Well, except for the jack. But, uh, yeah, that will do it for this episode of Let's Play a Boy and His Blob. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're making pretty good progress, I would say. Three down. I'll see you next time when we get to level four. Let me see what fresh hell is waiting for us there! <laughs> Uh, wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. I might need it. Later!